Okay, so apparently I ran out of storage on my SD card. So I don't think I got any of, of this in a, a video. So what this is here is this is the cream of mushroom soup that I made on a separate video. And I will try and put a suggestion up there or it'll be a link will be in the comments below in the description. Um, and in here, in this bowl, I have added the soup, one cup of milk, and I use the lactose-free milk. Um, now, <laughs> this isn't my recipe, but, um, so it says onion powder in the, the directions. Ingredients say garlic powder, one-fourth of a teaspoon. I did both, just, just because. Uh, I like garlic. You can never go wrong with garlic. And I like onion. You can never go wrong with onion. So, uh, and both flavors complement beef and pork. So I did probably a teaspoon of onion. And I think I did a uh, half a teaspoon of garlic. And then I also added in one teaspoon of dry mustard. About a fourth of a teaspoon of pink salt. And I added no pepper because the cream of mushroom soup substitute that I made um, was peppery enough for me. So now I'm going to set this aside. Now in my crock pot, uh, which I have preheated, um, I've had it on low for about uh, 20 minutes or so and it's quite warm. So to this I'm going to place half of a bag of tater tots. And I'm not sure it's going to be the whole half because I think I don't think this is four quarts. I don't know what it is. but. I'm just going to um, cover the bottom. Okay. Okay, and it said to grease it, and I didn't. And well, all right, I'll pay the price later because it's already hot. Okay, and then we're going to layer the meat mixture. Oh, I also have uh, about a cup of rehydrated um, mixed vegetables that I dehydrated myself from frozen and some of my mushrooms that I had dehydrated myself from fresh, of course. Um, so you can see these actually rehydrated really nice. So um, these are gonna go in here also. And then some cheese. Um, and I know I'm lactose intolerant, but for some reason this Mexican four cheese blend doesn't bother me sometimes a little bit but not not like if I drink a glass of milk so um, we're gonna use that so um, we are going to put in the beef and pork mixture that I made an onion okay I'm gonna spoon that all in I will um, put a link to this recipe um, in the description below. Okay, and then we're going to layer it with the vegetables, mixed vegetables. Then we're going to oh, uh, put another layer of tater tots, or as they call these, tater, tater treats. This is Safeway brand because it was the cheapest. And I figure, you know, a tater tot is a tater tot. One single layer over this. Okay. So not quite a whole bag in this smaller crock pot. And then we are going to put cheese. I forgot to put cheese in the middle somewhere. Oh well, that's okay. This will be more than enough cheese for me. 
And, you know, once you serve this up, if your family likes more cheese, you could have added, like, you know, the tater tots, the beef. could have put some cheese, then the vegetables, um, then the tater tots, and then more cheese. But, um, like I said, cheese and I, dairy and I, we are not always the best of friends. Okay, now, yes, I am smushing this down because... I have now got to add my liquid and hope we don't overflow it. I love this thing. Um, I can put a link where I, I got this from Amazon thanks to Mandy from More to Life. Okay, let's see here. See if I can encourage some sinking of this liquid so I can actually use it all. Because I'm fairly certain this is going to be a key part. I'd like to get all this liquid in here without making too much of a mess. Get it down there. Past all this cheese and tighter tots or tater treats, as Safeway likes to call them. <laughs> You know, it's a good thing everything doesn't have to be beautiful for it to taste good, right? All right, there, I think that will do it. Get all this goodness out of here. Now I'm gonna have to do some investigating and some research and see if I can't make up really big batches of this and uh, can it, because wouldn't it be nice to have home canned cream of something. Well, I would probably make cream of mushroom soup, cream of celery soup. Oh my God. Cream of cauliflower. Oh. It's endless, endless what we could do. But I have a feeling because of the flour uh, and the butter probably won't make it very um, stable for, yeah. All right, so, um, sorry, I got lost in my thoughts. Won't make it very sh shelf stable. So, put the lid on this. I'm gonna leave it on low, uh, and I'm gonna let it uh, cook for about seven hours. So it is, this is about 12.30, and I usually eat dinner about seven, uh, 6.37, so probably, I would say maybe five o'clock, 5.30. I'll come and pop this on high and let it maybe run for an hour, um, just on a higher temperature. Okay, so let me bring you in for a closer view. Oops, sorry. There we go. Doesn't that look just wonderful? Wait till that's all nice and bubbly and oh. Oh, I'm excited for dinner. And not bad for being one-handed, right? Not bad at all. All right, see you at dinner time. And bring a plate. Have some. All right, we're back. It is now uh, 5 to 6, and I, I did turn this off about uh, two hours ago because it was starting to, it really was bubbled and... The instructions really were to just get this so it was heated through. Pretty much everything in here is cooked except for, well, no, everything in here is cooked. So, let me dish up a bowl, give you a little taste test. Did you remember to bring you a plate? If you did, come on over and help yourself. I don't wait on nobody here. No such thing as guest. Everybody's friends and family. Serve yourself. Oh, 
Can you see that? That looked delicious. Okay. Now I did turn this back on warm so that it will uh, stay warm. I still have to feed the fur faces. So there's a little piece of meat. Looks like mm, pork. That's pork. And the darker one is beef. I'm not keeping anything. Just tater tot. Okay, let's give it a test. Mmm. That is good. Definitely cheesy. Yeah. I taste strongly the cheese, so maybe, I don't know, maybe next time, maybe I'll just use a little bit of mozzarella or Monterey Jack, maybe no cheddar, it's a little, it's a little potent. American cheese, excuse me. American cheese would probably be really good on here because it's a little milder than um, cheddar, but I don't think cheddar necessarily heats well, and this has been cooked, but this is really good. Um, great flavor, doesn't need any more pepper. The vegetables are just lovely, and look at that. Look how well that all rehydrated, and then it cooked on low, and I think that little crock pot runs a little warm because, like I said, by 2 o'clock this afternoon, it was bubbling. Um, by 3, the edges were turning brown. Yeah, I give this.